One of the hardest things to do in life is to forgive somebody that hurt you or an injustice that's been done to you. In this video, I'm going to cover why the power of forgiveness is so powerful and how it helps you heal and also walk you through three steps for how you can get on your journey to forgiveness. Hi, I'm Vicki and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I help you shine a light on who you are and help you transform to live your happiest life. If you like my content, then please comment and subscribe. All right, so let's begin. Let's talk about the very first point and before we even get into how you can get on the journey to forgiveness, why forgiveness? Why forgiveness is so incredibly powerful and why you should try to forgive. So the reason that we um, tend to hold on to something is because we have this resentment or judgment of something that has happened. And what's happening is that it's actually creating a lot of very negative energy in our bodies that we continue to store. And when we keep holding on to this negativity in our bodies, in our energetic space, it creates very little space for something new and for something clear and for something better to enter into to you. So the reason that forgiveness is so incredibly powerful is while it helps the other person, the reason that you forgive is you do it for yourself. It's a gift that you give yourself because you're releasing the negativity and allowing for something better, something new, something clearer to come into your space, into your energetic field. And this actually becomes incredibly powerful as you set on your journey towards healing the pain or, you know, what has been the negativity that has been storing up in your body. So this is a gift to you. And the one thing that I want to stress to you is when you get on the journey, on the path of forgiveness, you're not condoning. You're not saying that what has been done is okay. No, it's not okay. The act or the way that somebody made you feel is not okay. But what you are saying is that I am willing, I am choosing to release this negativity out of my energetic field so that I allow for something new and for something better to come into me. And that's where the healing comes in. And that's where the 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 improvement in the way that you feel is actually going to come through for you so how is it that you can get on the journey towards forgiveness let me give you three very practical steps for how you can do this and that's what i actually did when i was faced with a situation where i needed to forgive somebody um a couple of months ago i was physically assaulted um, during a robbery and as part of that healing journey i actually chose to visualize my perpetrators and to release the sadness, the anger, the frustration, the injustice that I felt um, over what had happened to me. So let me walk you through how I did that and how I tend to do this in my relationships. So step one, choose a relationship where you're struggling, where you're holding on to something, where you feel the need to forgive. So choose that relationship now. Examine what is coming up for you as you are visualizing or feeling into that relationship. So what is it triggering in you? What kind of emotions? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? Are you sad? Did that relationship or situation make you feel like a victim? Examine and retrospect on that. You can do this by either going on a long walk, you can do this by meditating. You can even do this as part of journaling. Just write a prompt. You know, how did that relationship make me feel? What do I need to forgive in that relationship? And what is coming up for me as part of this experience? So that's very important because you want to have clarity on what you're forgiving and why you're needing to forgive it and how is it making you feel because that's going to give you clarity on what it is that you need to release do i need to release judgment do i need to release sadness do i need to release anger and it could be all of the above so make sure to go through that very first critical step then just as important is to set the intention to forgive because you can say a thousand prayers you can say a thousand mantras but if your heart is not open 
towards forgiveness, if the intention, the energetic intention is not there to truly want to forgive someone, you're not going to do it no matter what you do, no matter how you try to clear your energy. So make sure that you go into this process with a very open heart and a willingness and the choice that you're making internally to forgive this relationship, to forgive the situation, to forgive what has been done to it. So when you set that intention to forgive, I recommend going into a meditative state and you can do that very easily. Just close your eyes and simply very, just breathe in and out. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just take a minute or two just to calm yourself, just to get into that very calm meditative zone. And when you're in that zone and you're in your heart, your heart is open remember this is a feeling universe because you can say anything you can think anything but your heart actually radiates a lot more energy than anything else so um, when you're in that meditative state your heart is open say to yourself visualize the individual visualize the situation and say to yourself I forgive you and I release you Repeat that a couple of times. You don't need to do this for a half an hour. You don't even need to do this for 10 minutes. Just take a couple of minutes and just say, I forgive you and I release you. And really feel into what that feels like in your body, in your energy to forgive and to release. I recommend doing this every day for at least a week or two. And what's going to happen is you're going to make small energetic shifts and small energetic adjustments that's really going to actually add up to a much bigger, more powerful energetic shift. So do this for a few minutes, for a week or two, and just see how your energy shifts. And when your energy shifts, the other person is going to actually energetically feel that shift in you and it's going to drive a shift in them as well. So miracles can happen when you do this and when you do it truly from your heart. And the last thing that I want to also um, tell you is see if there is something that you need to forgive yourself for. So one of the journeys that I went for through when I was going through this process of forgiveness is I actually closed my eyes and I went through the same meditative um, experience and I felt into, what do I need to forgive myself for? We tend to hold on to judgments of ourselves. And a lot of times those judgments get reflected back to us in other people. Because remember, this is a mirror universe. So the people in your life are mirroring back to you what you're feeling about yourself inside. So I went in on this quest to ask myself, what do I need to forgive myself for? What am I judging in myself? What am I holding on to? Do I hold resentment? Do I feel shame? Do I feel guilt? And I did. And when I said to myself, I forgive myself and I for and I release myself, or I said, I forgive you and I release you, but I visualized myself, I actually started to cry, more like sob very, very heavily. And what that showed me is that there was a lot of shame and guilt and negative emotions that I was holding on towards myself on the inside. So I highly recommend that you go through this and visualize yourself and say, I forgive you and I release you and miracles will happen when you do that. And if you're crying, that's a great thing because what you're doing is you're releasing the negative energy. When you cry, you're, you're getting rid of what needs to come out and you're creating space for something new to come into you. If you have more questions, please comment. I will absolutely get back to you. This is such an incredibly powerful and important process for us to go through on our healing journey, on our journey towards experiencing life to its fullest and into allowing for joy and for love to come into our lives. So make sure to comment below. I would love to hear how this is helping you shift your energy. And if you like the content, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you and I look forward to hearing from all of you and seeing all the comments and hearing about how this is helping you transform towards living your best life.